Ah, uh, yes, Pergamos called to repent. Revelation chapter 2, verse 14 and 16. Nevertheless, I have a few things against you. There are some among you who hold the teachings of Balaam, who taught Balak to entice the Israelites to sin so that they ate food, sacrificed to idols, and committed sexual immorality. Likewise, you also have those who hold to the teachings of the Nicolaitans, not the Nickelodeons, the Nicolaitans, not SpongeBob SquarePants. Repent, therefore, otherwise I will soon come to you and will fight against them with the sword in my mouth. You don't want to be on the wrong side of that sword, okay? So, the Pergamos, they were engaging in a food sacrifice to idols. Now, I know what you're thinking. It's the same thing that Paul's talking about. Well, Paul wrote about this. Well, food sacrifice the idols. You want to read about it? It's all right there. But this was Christians going to and buying it from the marketplace to take home and eat. There was no, in, they weren't worshiping false gods at the same time. However, in Pergamos, there were some in their church that was uh, doing some of these things because what they were doing, they were joining with the crowd. They were doing everything just like everybody else, and they were worshiping false gods. And so they weren't just buying the food and bringing it home and cooking it. No, they were participating in uh, some of this pagan worship. And they were committing sexual acts. Now remember, this at this time, uh, they were doing it with priests and priestesses. They would. It was actually part of the worship of the pagan deity to go and have in the temple prostitute, prostitutes. And thus were honoring the heathen gods. And of course, God has no patience for that. He's not willing to share to share us. Now, they might have been thinking, you know, these since idols aren't anything anyway, you know, it doesn't matter if I participate because these idols, they're, they're just nothing. And, and I'll just get forgiven anyways. However, the Apostle Paul, he kind of slams this one down. What shall we say then? Shall we go on sinning that grace may increase? By no means. Now, in the Greek, uh, this by no means is a word that is, they would have been yelling this. No! I mean, it's the response that it is calling for. We are those who have died to sin. How then can we live it any longer? And Jesus set you free. What are you thinking by giving yourself back over to that bondage again? And so, but this is exactly what they were doing in Pergamum. Now, some people in the church, they were compromising their faith. They were lacking morals. They were adapting to the social customs of their day. Just because something is socially acceptable in your culture does not mean it's okay with God. So don't look around you to figure out if you're being moral or not. we got to look only at the scripture. Because you say, hey, just like the Israelites did with Moses uh, in Numbers chapter 25, verse 1 through 5. And let's take a look at this because this is he's saying you guys are just like this. While Israel was staying in Shittim, <laughs> the men began to indulge in sexual immorality with Moabite women who invited them to the sacrifices to their God. So they don't, they didn't just get with women. They weren't just eating the food. They were uh, sac making sacrifices to their gods. The people ate the sacrificial meal and bowed down before these gods. So Israel yoked themselves to the Baal of Peor. And the Lord's anger burned against them. And then it goes on to tell that God just, it, it was really bad for them. And so you can read about just how bad it was. But he's saying, you guys are just like Balaam. Have you allowed the women to live? He asked them. They were the ones who followed Balaam's advice and enticed the Israelites to be unfaithful to the Lord. Who was Balaam? He called himself a prophet. And he just led God's people away. And so this is the way of Balaam. There were people that saying, oh, this sin is okay. You don't have to worry about it. It's okay to mix these things together. It's not going to, you're, you're going to be all right. God will just forgive us. And these idols are nothing anyway. So we might as well keep on, keep on doing it because it doesn't mean anything to us. So legalism is bad, but Jesus warns against the liberty of sin. And Paul does as well. You, my brothers and sisters, were called to be free, but do not use your freedom to indulge in the flesh. Rather, serve one another humbly in love. And so we don't ever want to be legalistic. But on the other hand, make no mistake, God has called us to be free and to live a holy life. And how you live matters. How you live matters. Now, God says, now you, I hate the Nicolaitans. And you have allowed them to be part of your, of your place. And I wonder if I can scoot over here and look at this again so we can read this. We can. Um, 
Likewise, you have also, you have those who hold the teachings of the Nicolaitans. Repent, therefore, otherwise I will come to you and will fight against them. So the Nicolaitans, so who were the Nicolaitans? They would mix religion with the pagan religions around them. They would mix it together and they would grow into a Gnostic cult in the next, in the next years. They were a really bad thing. They overstated grace. And they adapted their theology and they adapted salvation right out of the gospel. Okay? You take, if you take repentance out of the gospel, well, there's no gospel anymore. Jesus died for your sins so you could turn from your sins. Okay? So just like the Moabites lure the Israelites away, so as these Nicolaitans would woo people to say, it's okay, this mix match. It's, and it's so diabolical and so, so serious. And I, I believe that the Christian church is just a, a poster child for the Nicolaitans. I think that people don't care what they do, they believe. You know, people, that they just kind of customize their own religion and, and make what they wish was true. But alas, it, it, it doesn't work. It's the Bible that's true. And so we've gotten so far away from that in, in our culture. So there you go. Call to repent. Get the Nicolaitans out. Don't follow them or I'll remove your lampstand because I'm coming after them with a sword. Man, that's heavy. Hey, Lord bless you.